In this video, we're doing limits from pictures part two as x approaches any a value. And let's go ahead and start with that. So uh, in this time, we're going to be approaching negative three from the left side. So again, over here, we're going to place a wall at negative three. From the left side, we're going to approach negative 3 looking for the y value. When we get there, our y value is clearly positive 2. Then we're approaching negative 3 from the right side, so we use that part of the picture, which is connected to or immediately to the right of negative 3. That would be this piece here, and our y value would be negative 4. Notice we are not using this far right piece because it does not get to negative 3. Now we have the two-sided limit as x approaches negative 3, which means we need to compare the left side limit with the right side limit. Notice this time these two are not the same. Therefore, our two-sided limit does not exist. We cannot be in two places at once. Finally, our Algebra 1 question, f of negative 3, when x is negative 3, what's my y value? Our closed circle is here, so we have 2. Let's do a few more. Same picture, and of course this is f of x, and we are now approaching 3 from the left side. So let's go ahead and place a wall at 3. And from the left side, again, we're using that part of the graph, which is immediately to the left, connected to our wall. So as we approach that way, when we get to our wall, our y value is negative 2. 3 from the right side, using that part of the graph that is to the right. So as we approach this way, our y value is positive 2. Two-sided limit, because there is no marking here, so we're going to compare the left side with the right side. Once again, they are not the same, so we have a does not exist DNE. Lastly, Algebra 1 question, when x is 3, what is y? So we are again looking for the closed circle. Here our closed circle is clearly at y is 0.